Leo Aprili 15, 2022, Rais Samia Suluh Hassan amekutana na kuzungumza na Kamala Harris, makamu wa rais wa Marekani. Mazungumzo yamefanyika ikulu ya Marekani. Hapa nakupa nafasi ya kusikia kile ambacho wamekizungumza. Kamala Harris ambapo hapa namkaribisha Rais Samia na namwambia uongozi wetu mjadhatiti sana katika kuweka nguvu ya ushirikiano na Tanzania na nchi za Afrika kwa jumla. Hili limekuwa ni eneo letu ambalo sisi sote Rais Joe Biden na mimi tunalipa kipaumbele. Karibu sana Rais Samia. Na kisha baadaye Rais Samia akapata nafasi ya kwanza kuzungumza. Mapo anaanza kwa kusema asante makamu wa Rais Kamala Harris na nafurahi kuwa hapa ikulu ya Marekani na nakushukuru kwa kunikaribisha hapa. Na hii ndio mara ya kwanza tunakutana tangu umepewa dhamana ya makamu wa Rais. Nampongeza Rais Joe Biden na wewe Kamala Harris pamoja na chama cha Democratic kwa ushindi mkubwa wakati wa uchaguzi wa rais mwaka 2020. Sisi nchini Tanzania tulikuwa tunafuatilia kwa karibu kwa sababu kwa mara ya kwanza kulikuwa na mwanamke akigombea nafasi ya makamu wa rais. Kwa hiyo tuliamasika. Serikali yangu inapongeza serikali ya Marekani kwa msaada wa kimaendeleo na kazi nzuri ambayo USAID wanaifanya nchini Tanzania kwa miaka mingi zaidi kwenye maswala ya upande wa maendeleo ya uchumi wa kijamii pamoja na kuinua maisha ya Tanzania wengi kupitia programu mbalimbali ikiwemo pefa na kadhalika. Mimi ni Bakari Chijumba mwenzangu ni Mudi TZDA in IOTV na miradiayo.com. And as this is the first time we are meeting in person since assumption of office. I would uh, like to congratulate President Joe Biden uh, and yourself of course Madam Kamala and the Democratic Party of the, for the resounding victory during the presidential election in 2020. We in Tanzania have been following very closely that election because the, for the first time there was a woman uh, 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 contesting for the vice president position. So we were very uh, inspired. So let me say that the United States and Tanzania have enjoyed excellent relation for the last 60 years. My government would like to see our relation grow further and strengthened to greater heights. I would like to express my government's appreciation to the US government for the invaluable development assistance and great work the USAID has been doing in Tanzania over the years, particularly for socioeconomic development and in uplifting the lives of many Tanzanians through various programs and initiatives, including PEFA, the Presidential Malaria Initiative, Feed for Future, or Feed the Future for Food Security, just to mention a few of them. Talking on COVID-19, my country is indeed grateful to the U.S. support in its donation of COVID-19 vaccines through the COVAX facility. To date, the U.S. has so far contributed close to 5 million doses of, of COVID-19 vaccines to, to my country. It was just last month I had a virtual meeting with the USAID administrator, Madam Samantha Power, and uh, during our conversation she revealed that Tanzania was one of the 11 beneficiaries of the Global Vaccine Initiative launched by President Joe Biden. So talking on human rights and rule of law and democracy, uh, Tanzania have made commendable strides in these areas, as you have mentioned, and we are committed to taking deliberate measures to ensure inclusion, cohesion, unity, and respect for all Tanzanians. And in so doing, the political parties and stakeholders convene meetings to deliberate on collective and productive ways of running political activities in our country, while at the same time safeguarding country's interest. So these meetings have been instrumental in contributing positively to enhancing democracy and strengthening multi-party system in our country, in Tanzania. Now, talking on trade and investment, I must say that I'm excited about the prospects of promoting further a trade and investment ties of mutual, for mutual benefits. And in cognizant of that, we need to creating an ease of doing business. And my government, in close collaboration with the private sector, has put in place better conditions and favorable en environment for the private sector to thrive. So my only request here is to, for the U.S. government 
to encourage more the private sector from the U.S. to work with us in Tanzania. There's a lot to be offered. We have a lot of potential. So you're welcome. Uh, moreover, the government is collaboration with the collaboration with the private sector is in the process of enacting the Tanzania Investment Act, uh, 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 expected to set the tone for creating the safe lending for investors. So we are creating, we are doing all what we can to make the private sector working um, comfortably in Tanzania. Uh, 